Hello everyone, welcome to this bi-weekly melting basket. This is all the wax that I melted. I do have a haul from two shops, which I will leave to the end. And I have gotten really strategic over the week with my process. And I have made myself a little spreadsheet that says scent name, shop, rating, and notes. So I have filled it out for this week for all of these scents, except for this one, which I have melting right now. And then I didn't get to all of them, so I do have a quite, well, probably like half of the basket, maybe a little less left. And then I just pulled um, four extra things to supplement me for two weeks. And then, like I said, I do have a haul. So let's go ahead and get through this little review very quickly. And I'm being very, like, to the point with my ratings. So this one here is from Nerdy Wax, and this is the Purdy Planner Blueberry Muffin. And on cold, this smells so good, but honestly, there was literally no throw. I ended up just taking it out and throwing it away after the like nine hours. Usually I feel like most wax I can do at least 18 hours because I have like the little like clicky um, wax melter, which I actually just came out with this one. Look at how pretty this one is. This is the Happy Wax one, is that what it's called? And it has a timer setting for on, three, six, nine hours, and then low, medium, and high. I always do high, um, but I got that one and I was super excited to show y'all. But yeah, this one I actually took out because it had maybe like a one to two foot range of scent and it was very light. So that is the first one. Then the next one that we have is called Throne of Lies from Wit & Wax, which is Salty Ocean Cotton Candy and Vanilla Cake. This one I gave a four out of five. This was really nice and basic. I don't think that it really smells like vanilla cake or cotton candy. I feel like even here and like when I melted it, it mostly just smelled like, um, like the salty ocean smell, but I actually really liked it and I think Nick liked it too. So that one was a good one. And then we have probably one of my all-time faves just in general, which is Fantasy Wax Reagan's Favorite, which this one is Lemon Pound Cake. This one has such an amazing throw that like maybe if you're in a small room, you might have to like turn it off because it's such a good throw. It like smells up basically like half of my downstairs and it's just so good. It's just one of my top favorites of all time. So a 10 out of 10, always intense throw on that one. Then the next one is um, Fantasy Wax Beetlejuice, which I gave a four out of five. I don't like the smell, like the leaves smell of the Bath and Body Works. That's basically why it's a four out of five because Nick really loved this one. So I think it's just kind of like a preference thing. So there was a great throw, but it's just not one of my favorite scents, but Nick really liked it. So it's a good one. Then the next one is also from Fantasy Wax, which is Edward Scissorhands, which is Fresh Pumpkin and Caramel Swirls. This one I also gave a four out of five. I think five out of five is for me personally is reserved for like goat, greatest of all time wax. And then four out of five is like good, like I would melt it again. So this one is, um, where did I have this? This one made me realize that I'm not a huge fan of butter incense. And I think that the caramel kind of has that buttery kind of smell to it. It had a really good throw, very fall vibes, but I feel like for me, I'm gonna need to find a place where I can melt the butter scents. I like them, but I feel like it gives me like vibes of some, I just cooked like bacon and then that scents like on me where like the butter's the same, where I feel like I just like soaked in a bunch of butter and all I smell is butter. That's more of a me preference, but it has a good throw and it smells really good for what it is. Maybe like in the kitchen specifically, it'd be a good spot for it. Um, then the next one I have is Blue Agave Cacao Garnier Fructis. I like this way better in the package and on cold. I don't know what this smelled like, but I turned it off. It was super weird. It smells so good like in the bag, but on warm, it didn't smell anything like Garnier Fructis, which is what I smell in the bag. I don't know if that's the Blue Agave Cacao or whatever but I, I did not like this one. I gave it a two out of five. And then there was this one here, which was Cocoa Butter Cashmere Gold Sugar Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. And this one was a surprising one. Like I think it smells really good in the bag, but it smelled different on warm and it was like a good different. It smelled like something was baking. 
And the thread was light, but like in a nice way. Like it was a really soft scent and it was really surprising. I literally thought that like Nick baked something, like I, which was weird because it doesn't smell like something you'd bake in the back, but it smelled really, really good. Then the next one here is Witch Please by Villainous Wax. This one was um, light and it smelled like the bag, but like it was just very, very light. It smells like blueberry in here, but it didn't smell like blueberry on warm, really. But it's still good. Um, just was very, 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 very light. It was one of the ones I wish was a little bit more heavy. Then I have two from my collab with Fantasy Wax, which I am obsessed with these. But I will tell you that Nick hates this one, Dream. But Wish, crowd pleaser. All around, this one is Salted Caramel, Pistachio, and Soft Citrus, which is like the boom boom type. I love this one so much. It's so good. And then this one's Dream, which was Oatmeal, Vanilla, and Sweet Honey. Mm, wait, was this one that Nick hated? Which one? Nick hated Dream. Yeah, he did not like this one, which is weird. Because he doesn't normally say, like, I hate something. But that's how you can tell that, like, scents are very, like... It just depends on your personal taste. But I love this one. So I give it a 5 out of 5. But Nick hates it. He made me turn it off. But I will just put it somewhere else next time I melt it versus being in our bedroom. But he's just weird. So who knows. Then last but not least. Well, actually, there's two more. There's Stung by Wasps. I'm not sure who this was by. But it didn't smell like anything. It smells good in the bag. It smelled like nothing. So I ended up taking it out. It smells actually really strong in the bag, which was really weird. And then this one is from Caviar Dreams, which was deep fried Twinkies, golden sponge cake, vanilla cream, butter, deep fried pastry, and powdered sugar. This one I'm melting right now. It smells exactly like it does in the container. It's a really nice um, baked good scent that's not too like, it's like light and kind of like, it's like a soft sweet, if that makes sense. And this one was really good. I'd give it a four out of five. It's very, very good. I would, I would get it again. Then the three that the four that I'm adding to my basket this week because I still do have quite a bit to go through, but hopefully I can probably get through most of that. I'm always excited to just put this everywhere and just have like my whole house smell like a cereal bar for a while. I wanted to pick up a couple more of the um, like freebies sized ones because I feel like these are perfect for um, like smaller warmers. This one's whipped buttercream, which is Melty Max Collection from Caviar Dreams. It doesn't really smell like anything. And I'm really shoving my nose in there, but you honestly never know. It could smell amazing on warm. So we have that one. This one here is a freebie. I'm not sure it's from, maybe from Nerdy Wax. I'm not sure. Can you hear the construction? This one... I'm not sure what it smells like. It smells kind of cinnamony, but that's all I'm getting. Cinnamon, maybe there's a little bit of like a banana in there. I'm not sure. And then this one here is a freebie, and this is from Nerdy Wax. And this one, I don't know what this is, but it smells like florally. So interested to see how this smells. I'll probably put this one in the living room because it'll probably be kind of intense. And then this one is from American Made Wax, which is the Mad Tea Party scent. And I don't remember what this smells like. Mm, it smells like cookies, like really like a light buttery cookie. That's what I'm getting. So there's a lot of different pieces in here and I'll just kind of break them up and see where it goes. And then there's the Mickey. These are so cute though. And I am just sad to like melt them because they feel very like a collector item. Then let's go into the haul. We'll go into Fantasy Wax first, and then I have an eye doctor appointment, so I'll probably come back and film the rest. So this collection is live now, and this is a Tiana collection. So let's go through these. So this one is fried beignets and powdered sugar. Mmm. Mmm, it smells so good. I love the smell of, like, powdered sugar in anything. And this smells so good with, like, the fried scent. Oh, I'm so excited for that. And then there is the hazelnut coffee. I am like hit or miss with coffee scents. I feel like the same with um, coffee scents and chocolate scents. But I feel like this one's going to be really nice in like the living room kitchen area. So I'm excited for that. I think Nick will really like it. This one is almond macaroon. Mmm. Mmm. It almost smells like cherry a little bit. Oh, it's so good. I love almond scents. Y'all know. I have one that I'm going to rave about in my next bit. Um, this one is mojito fresh squeezed lime. Spooky. 
This one I'm not crazy about because it reminds me of like an alcoholic drink almost. Mm. But it, I feel like in the summer it might be a vibe, but I don't know. I feel like alcoholic drink scents, like they just kind of take me back to like feed the feeling of drunk and then just triggers wrong memories for me. Then there's sweet potato brown sugar. Ooh, mm. Mm. this one's good. It does have a little bit of that, that buttery scent, but it feels a little bit light. So I'm excited about that. And then there's cornbread. Oh my God, this made me hungry. Mmm. Mmm, this one's gonna be so good in the kitchen. That is the Tiana Collection by Fantasy Wax. They all smell so good. They're all very, like, for the most part, warm, very cozy vibes. Almost kind of gives me, like, fall vibes with all of the, like, bakery scents. But these are so good. And y'all know I love to good bake good scent, like, all year round. So very excited to melt those. Okay, good thing I checked because I got into the car and was like looking at the address. Um, and apparently they declined my appointment request online. I don't know, like maybe like it got double booked like from their online and like in person, whatever. Um, but I had to call and I just scheduled an appointment for next week. But ugh, I, I, I've mentioned before I have this like thing with appointments like doctors specifically eye doctors and my gynecologist aren't usually a problem but I actually was feeling a little anxious about it today I don't know why it's like a time thing mostly I don't know I don't know why but anyways I was like hyping myself up for it and then I'm gonna have to hype myself up again next week so I placed an order with L3 waxy wonders and I have not ordered basically from anybody um only like fantasy wax has come in for me um, but I decided to place an order. I actually have another order coming from L3 as well. I think that Hannah was talking about something and I was like, huh, I'm gonna place an order. So they do, I think a lot of wax shops do a lot of like restock. You have to like set an alarm and go on and like all of the best scents and all the new ones or whatever, like go pretty fast. I never like get to that. I just shop with whatever's on the shop. Though the next one, I got like an email. Let's actually do this first. I didn't smell these. I got an email that was like, oh, the pre-order, um, the pre-order extras are up. So I was like, all right, let me do that. Um, but most of the time I just shop whatever is available. So I, this is basically like what was available and I read all the descriptions. I was like, these sounds sound great. So I have three freebies here. So the first one is called snooze button, which I don't think I've smelled like any of these. It's a little candy cane. Mm. This one is very minty. Hmm. Like peppermint, maybe? Peppermint? Is it peppermint? Yeah, I think it's a... No. It smells like a peppermint, but also kind of like a winter mint. I don't know. But it smells really good, and I'm really excited for that one because it's kind of a little bit sweet, too. This one's called Eggnog Candy Cane Sugar Cookie Royale. Um, I did place, like, a pretty big order for the next one, which I was really excited about because all of them sound so good. This one smells a lot like eggnog which I'm not like super mad about. I think eggnog's just the whole idea sounds gross, but the scent is like really phenomenal. So I'm very excited to try that one out. And then there's candy cane, sugar cookie, royale, birthday cane, vanilla ice cream. These ones, the names are always just like so long. And this one's like a little piggy. This one, very light to me. I smell a little bit of the candy cane and a little bit of vanilla, but I'm very excited for all of these because they all seem very up my alley in different ways. So I'm pumped about that. Then let's get, I'm going to say my best, the best for last, the best discovery for last, but I'm very excited about it because it smells so good. So this one here is blueberry muffin pretzel and there's just so many, like this is like, I could get two probably out of each of these. So this one is um, blueberry muffin pretzel, it smells exactly like how it says. And I really like the blueberry in the addition to the pretzel. I feel like the sweetness makes the pretzel a little less intense because a lot of the pretzels do have that very buttery scent to them, which I do really like. It's just like, it gets a little old, the buttery part. Then there's this one here, which is Sweet Cherry Sugar Cookie Royale. This one I hate, and I probably will see if Kirsten wants it. The cherry scent is very artificial. It's probably because it's like cherry, like sweet cherry. And it just has that... It's too sweet for me, but maybe Kirsten will like it. So I'm going to actually take that one to work and give it to Kirsten. See if she likes it. This one's here called Look at My Buns, which is cinnamon bun, dark chocolate espresso, and cream cheese frosting. 
This one smells really good. I really like the espresso scent with the cinnamon and cream cheese. I think it makes the espresso less like um, bitter smelling and a little bit sweeter, which is nice. And it's a nice alternative to a coffee. And I think it smells more true than a coffee scent does. Construction, y'all. Can you hear it? I don't even know. Um, I sometimes think I'm like, I say these things and like, because I'm wearing a clip mic, I'm like, maybe they don't hear anything, but I'm not sure. This one's called Jack the Pumpkin King, which is pumpkin milkshakes, waffle cones, and vanilla hazelnut. Hmm. This one, I'm mostly getting just pumpkin with a little bit of sweetness maybe a little bit like a vanilla pumpkin which i don't i don't mind so i'm very excited about that one as well and the funny thing is is you i feel like you always know that like these could smell completely different on warm this one's hufflepuff cider lane which reminds me of jessica and this one is fresh baked cookies sweet cinnamon sugar and pumpkin pasties mm. this one smells really good this one also getting a lot of pumpkin but it's pumpkin with a lot of cinnamon a lot of cinnamon, which I do like. So there's that one. And then there is zucchini bread pretzel, which I think Hannah has talked about before in these massive ones, which it does have a lot of that like butter scent to it. But I'm excited to see how it smells on warm. Like, will the zucchini come out a little bit more? Because all I'm smelling right now is pretzel. Then there's zucchini bread vanilla wafer, which this one has more of the zucchini scent. I think and then the vanilla is like definitely like on the back seat which I do prefer this one is hot orange Danish coffee bean cookie therapy Santa's on keto pretzel sugar chorba I don't even know what these names this one smells different and I think that Hannah mentioned something along the lines of this with coffee and orange so I wanted to try something out along the lines of that and I'm excited to see how it smells because it's a little weird in the bag. But because Hannah says she likes it, I'm like, maybe that'll be something I like. And then I also got Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale because I think this is also one Hannah likes. And I got it in the Big Daddy loaf thing. Even though I think that the next order, it was like available in a like smaller amount. You'll see then. But this one, I don't know. Is it just the bag that smells weird? Maybe it is. Hold on. Let me, because there's a similar scent that I'm getting. It smells like helium almost. So let me take this out. This is the one I said I didn't like the smell of. Let me just, I need to get one of those coffee bean cups so I can put my nose in it. Yeah, I feel like it might be just in the bag. Yeah, the bag itself smells terrible. But this set, like maybe I have to take them out of the bag. Is there a reason for that? Let me know. People who actually like no wax things. Just kidding, Kirsten. I'm going to try this one. Because it's the bag that smells horrible. Because this doesn't smell bad. This smells nice. Now I'm like, do I need to take them all out of the bag? Well, the thing is, I didn't smell. Is it the bigger bag? I don't know. Because I didn't, I don't think I smelled it with this one. Maybe it is the bag. Because I, hold on. Yeah, I think that these bags smell weird. The bigger ones. Because this smells different. No, I think it's just these ones. This smells way better, so I'm keeping that. I'm going to try it. Sorry, Kirsten. But, Kirsten, if you want to try it and you haven't tried it before, I'll bring you a piece. Yeah, I'm going to take that out of the bag because something else about this bag smells terrible. Okay. So this, let me smell it. it smells good. It's not life-changing. It honestly is, like, so light that I, like, have my nose on it. Oh, my God. I have my nose on it, and it's not really, like, it's not really reading much to me, but... I'm excited to try it on warm and I have like a gazillion of it now. So this will last me 12 years. And then this is the showstopper for me. I haven't heard anyone mention this and I sent it to Hannah and I'm like, yo, have you tried this? And she's like, no. And I'm like, you need to because you're going to love it. I don't even know what that is outside. But this is next level. I'm, I honestly might go on and buy more of it because it might be one of my top five favorite scents ever lemon chiffon cake amaretto pie crust i amaretto gives like the almond vibes for me and i love lemon like mixed with almond it's just a vibe um and this is the, like amazing this smells 10 out of 10 wonderful amazing smells like an almond pound cake to me 
with like lemon, like a lemon almond pound cake. Like exactly perfection. I'm gonna order more for sure if they have it because this is like 10 out of 10 amazing and I hope that it warms as amazingly as it smells in the bag because this is like gold. Like if you have similar taste of scents to me, this is like all, all it's about right there. Like mouth watering, have opened this bag at least 10 times since I've got it to sniff it. Made Nick smell it, made Theo smell it. I don't think Bennett smelled it yet, but I'm gonna make him smell it. And that is everything that I got from L3. This is definitely my favorite. I'm really curious about the bags because that is just really weird. Let me know in the comments down below if you know anything. I don't know, I just don't understand it, but I'm glad that it doesn't smell like that terrible because this smells way better outside the bag. Like 10 out of 10, 10 times better. I don't know what it is because it smells freaking, it smells like helium mixed with something really like potently artificial smell like weird something i haven't smelled before but it definitely it kind of smells like helium but that is everything for this video and i'll be back at it with another one in two weeks if y'all like it so let me know in the comments down below let me know if any of these scents that i hauled are like one of your top favorites or if you have a scent that you think that i'll like and i should purchase let me know in the comments down below otherwise i'll talk to you in my next video bye